set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Staying on the ground with Vaughn. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Throwing on first down. Hall. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Vaughn. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. And he will have a Titans first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. On first down, Hall. That would tip, and it. it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively at second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. This one into the hands of Nixon. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 41-yard line. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Did you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. This is Brightwell. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. Go. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he will have a Titans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. No score after one on EA Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That throw complete to his tight end long. Touchdown! Hunter Long, 29 yards. And the Titans post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point by Viscano, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. Yeah. 
So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. It's Josh Allen that'll be orchestrating the offense, a 6'5 quarterback from Wyoming. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency, yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Allen. And his throw here is incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Got his open man, it's Mallory. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. A first down carry for Henry. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Allen going to throw. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Down the left sideline. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. That's to the tight end, Mallory. And in for the Steelers. Touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through bullying his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And while we have a moment, we remind you the registration for the Madden Championship Series is now open. This year we'll be giving away, ready for this, $1.7 million in prize money to the best Madden 24 players in the world. And if you want to get in on the action, and you should, visit MaddenChampionship.com to get yourself registered. It's hard to believe how much that has taken off in recent years. It's taken off so much, partner, that I'm going to start to work on my game and register for a chance to win that kind of money. On second down, it's Vaughn. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And this is what you want to see from the defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand? and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense. On fourth down, Joseph Charlton on to punt. Pulled in at the 24. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Takes it to about the 37. 
Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Allen looks to throw on second down. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Man open, and St. Brown has got it. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing on first down is Allen. Got an open man. It's Devin Hester. Down inside the 10. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now he's got it, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now Allen. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Mark Andrews, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Titans offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And that'll be taken in by Strong. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They'll run it with Brightwell. A determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. He'll get this into the hands of Strong. Four seconds left and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this a 39-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Yeah. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Well, the Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. To throw, it's Allen. He'll get this one to cut complete. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Allen's throw is complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try to match his intensity. And the Steelers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. They'll come out in the pistol. Henry will score. Touchdown, Steelers. You think back to some of the great goal line boozers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. And then you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. An extra point try now for Moody. It's good, and it's 21-10. A 10-play drive that time. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. 
Back to throw. Hall got an open man. It's strong. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They go play action here on first down. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. Touchdown, Titans. Isaiah McKenzie, 58 yards. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Here we go, set. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me? that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense. Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or are you trying to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeout for Warriors' opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Let's go, let's go. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Allen now looks to throw. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Oh, they'll let Andrews try to run. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw is Allen. And be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. So Allen's going to look to throw. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. I know it was a game. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held up to an okay game. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want to. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry. 
And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here now. Caleb Shudak has his teed up, ready to do the honors. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. Commanding the offense will be the seventh overall pick in the 2018 draft. It's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. A nice gain of 21 yards. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Well, they told us that he was just going to be a bear to defend. And usually tight ends are, Charles, but he's no exception to that rule. His second catch of the opening possession, and it gets him a first down. Yeah, and they certainly saw something on his earlier reception. He went back and reported what he found. And one of the things about him, he's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Yeah, we talk all the time, Charles, and it kind of gets cliche about the hand that he has, but really it's the truth. They're for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of 22. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the five, second and four. On the counter, it's Henry. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on down. They'll run with the former Bills up Moss. Try to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Here we go. 
We're scoreless after one. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Pickett will look to throw it here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Josiah DeGora, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They'll go up the middle here with Morris. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Try him with Pickett here on third down. They'll get this one to Ezekama. And he will have a Giants first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll run on first down with Moss. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Pickett's throw caught by Ezekama. He's across midfield. He's on his way. Touchdown, Giants! Eric Ezukama, 76 yards. And the Giants post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point up and good by Shudak. And that makes the score 7-0. So the drive there took six plays. And Eric Azukama closed things out with a touchdown grab. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now following the long touchdown a moment ago, you might say to yourself, well, that should be enough on its own to boost his ratings. I wish I had somewhere to call and tell that to. Well, fear not. Now you do. The Madden hotline is now available. You can make your case. Who needs to go up? Who needs to go down? You can call 1-844-MADDEN-1. That also works out to 1-844-623-3361. As they say, operators are standing by. Well, that might not be true, but the number is 1-844-MADDEN-1. Check it out. And make your case. Tell them why your players should be moved up in the ratings. Tell them why one of the guys that you don't like should be moved down. The players do it. They make their case. Now you get to make their case for them. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Allen now on first down. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Mark Andrews, 27 yards. And the Steelers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Moody good with the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. Still going past the 30. And he is finally stopped. Boy, he almost made it, but not quite. Down around the five-yard line. What a return. All praises for a tremendous return, but how about the guys that never gave up on the play, refused to let him get into the end zone, and tracked him down before he got there and made the tackle? A lot of pride exhibited by guys on special teams. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Pickett looking to throw on second down. And he's got it. Touchdown, 
Giants. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Giants will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Shudak. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So here's Shudak following the touchdown back out to kick off. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Keeps himself up right. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot then have him run a corner route versus his own coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on him. And this is caught inside the five. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Mark Andrews with his second touchdown here in this first half. Now the Steelers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Now Moody for the PAT. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And the Giants with one final possession here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Second down, here's Pickett. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On first and ten, it's Pickett. Throw over the middle, caught by DeGuara. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Here's the Giants' offense now, getting set to start the third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? He's going to sling this deep downfield. This is intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Steelers are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door 
and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And that's a nice gain by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Allen going to throw. This one taken in by Hester. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Inside handoff, Henry, nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 35, here's a second down and nine. To the air, Allen. Got his open man, it's Mallory. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 15-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Middle, 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 middle. On play action, Allen. Looking left side, and it's complete. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Steelers have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. An extra point try now for Moody. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And New York set to take the field. 
We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Pick it to throw on first down. He's got a man complete. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. And this is how you answer a touchdown the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Moss on the give up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Hogan Bawale on the screen. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Here's Pickett. Be incomplete physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense, and here's another example on that last play. So now, second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, pick it. And it's caught! Touchdown, Giants! Josiah DeGuora, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. The kick is through the uprights to tie this game, but hang on a second, we do have a flag. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. But well, that was definitely a surprise there. Handed to the big guy on first down. Hit the first play of the drive. And when you see him get to the second level, as a former safety, I can just tell you, your eyes get really wide because you know you've got a lot to deal with at that point. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. 
They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Allen. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game. But it falls down to the ground incomplete. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. Another try, second and ten now. Allen. And this is into the hands of Andrews downfield. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Mark Andrews, 58 yards. And the Steelers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. They do tack on the extra point as well, and they will take a seven-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Giants now down 28-21. A minute 44 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Looking to throw here. Pick it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold it on through the contact. Brings up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Completes it to Ezekama. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Pick it to throw. Got his man. It's Dorch. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Pickett. This is caught by Dare Ogunbowale. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 16. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him 
All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like that there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Steelers are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. But Charles, a heartbreaking way to lose this game. They got into position for that final play.